over the past decade or two, from the days when compromise was accepted and things got done, the answer is quite obvious, as I suspect even Whitman would agree. Compromise between a Democrat and a Republican, uh, they, they may call it bipartisanship compromise, but uh, guess what? The people end up losing. It's like a union contract every year. The union members get less and less. The new people getting hired get less and less. Except in Europe. And Australia and New Zealand and the Netherlands and Belgium and 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 and, 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 and all of Scandinavia. Yeah. Who have their uh, set up with their unions that they both agree on the stuff and wage hikes and etc. etc. Et well, but the right wingers over here say, oh Europe is uh, uh, old fashioned and uh, 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 the population and the pop sclerotic. and they and they make an excuse that the population in a European country is too small to compare with the United States. Uh, bullshit. Northern the problem is the United States with their setup as far as That's the economics right. and corporations are concerned. Labor laws are strictly enforced in Northern Europe. Yeah, they don't even want our meat over there. I wouldn't accept US, of course not. US beef. I of wouldn't course. accept US produce. With with Monsanto uh, in charge, with the factory farms, mm -hmm. gee, they they have a a, 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 f um, a hissy fit if you uh, try to sell certified raw milk. Snake experts. Snake experts from the Bronx Zoo have rescued this year-old Indian cobra. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Which stowed away on a container ship headed to Port Elizabeth. The crew discovered the poisonous snake in the hold on December the 10th. Herpetologists took it to the zoo. Well, it was underweight and, and uh, obviously, you know, a well, little uh, worn for the trip. Oh yeah, it wasn't, you know, it was, uh, it was stuck. It was stuck. Who knows how long the ship's voyage uh, took? Yeah, took and it, it hasn't eaten. I mean, I mean, granted, a snake. There are creatures that do not have to eat often. Yeah. But you know, it's. It might, I think a snake was probably dehydrated too. Exactly. Dehydration would would do an animal in long Water. before uh, starvation would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. He's a very smart man. And Sirius XM announced this week an agreement under which the broadcaster will continue to produce and host the Howard Stern Show on Sirius XM for the next five years. The deal includes plans to launch video programming with Stern. Under the new agreement, Stern's program will continue to be broadcast live on Sirius XM's Howard 100 channel from 7 to 11 a.m. weekday. So the satellite radio is FCC free from what I understand. Are you out of your mind? No. You have to pay a subscription. No, you have to pay yeah. to listen to satellite radio. Right. But, but um, is it FCC free? In other words, do they I have... I guess Howard's getting away with it. Because Howard had uh, many problems with the FCC. Yeah. And uh, that's why he went to satellite radio. But to pay... To listen to a radio station? Mm -hmm. I am not going to do that. No. It's bad enough they force people to get cable TV now. Yeah. Because well, you, gone, gone is our free television. Be, gone, gone is our free radio. Because you won't, you won't okay. see anything if you turn your t your new television set on mm -hmm. without cable. There you you won't see anything. 
Yeah. Additionally, Stern will continue to produce his Howard 101 channel, which includes current and classic episodes of the radio program as well as original programming throughout the day. Oh yeah, the best of Howard Stern, sure, why not? Video plans will be announced at a future date and will include video of the radio show as well as the archives and special programming. Do you know that, not to change the subject, but do you, did you know that that true True TV still maintains a conspiracy theory with Jesse Ventura Facebook page, even though they don't even play the um, the reruns. Very strange. I mean, you could you could see the episodes on YouTube, but maybe they forgot to go up and delete it. But it's been here for a while, and and they're and they maintain it. I mean, there are uh, they post things, but if you're not going to play the reruns you know hmm. unless they play the reruns in other countries and not the US I don't know it's it's a, a such a, a heavy-duty show that would bring uh, viewers to true TV without a doubt I have no idea why they're they don't just play the reruns <coughs> or uh, it seems like any show that is part of um, the mainstream media cable they all they're all wimps they're all wussies they 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 they, they told the line the pussies yeah yeah they told the yeah. line they know where what side their uh, bread is buttered on the side of the moolah so the the sponsors and the source of their income is tells them don't play Jesse Ventura's reruns we don't like that show don't do it and they don't do it so anyway Pope Francis yeah he wants a one world uh, government now what the hell is up with that well the Roman Catholic Church has always wanted to dominate the world yeah but he's supposed to be Mr. Religion. Nice Guy Pope Francis you know, the, the kinder and gentler Pope. He has entered his 80th year Thursday amid hopes oh. among his critics that it will be his last, at least as Pope. Oh, oh, he turned 80? Yeah. He sure is alert and in great shape for 80. Wow, he's a, he's a Sagittarius, a fire sign. While Francis remains enormously popular among most rank-and-file Catholics, a small but vocal group of conservatives who have never much cared for his agenda who cares about them? have grown increasingly strident in criticizing the Pope. Fuck them. They criticize Bernie Sanders, too, you know? Where, where, where? Everybody's got to kowtow to the friggin' 1% all the time? They have taken aim at the just concluded synod on family issues, where the divisive issue of common communion, excuse me, ooh, for the civilly remarried took center stage. They have raised alarm at Francis's call for a more decentralized church and his loosening of the Vatican's marriage annulment process. They have winced at his environmental concerns, wondered what's in store for Catholic orthodoxy in this holy year of mercy, and blasted as sacrilege the recent screening of nature photos on St. Peter's Basilica. The Remnant, a small traditionalist U.S. newspaper, last week penned an open letter begging Francis to change course or resign, <laughs> arguing that his papacy was causing grave harm to the church. 
Organizers say a few thousand people have signed a petition. So the right wing prefers the Catholic Church of the Middle Ages, perhaps? Uh -huh. Perhaps. Perhaps. You have given many indications of an alarming hostility to the Church's traditional teaching, discipline, and customs, and the faithful who try to defend them while being preoccupied with social and political questions beyond the competence of the Roman pontiff, the newspaper said. Maybe there's a reason why Pope Francis was like kissing the hand of, of one of the uh, Rothschilds in the photograph, and Henry Kissinger was standing there too. Ooh. This appalling situation has no parallel in church history. To put it more simply, Many people in the Vatican want Francis dead. People in the Vatican, in the Vatican. So you have we have right-wing cultists uh, working for the Catholic Church. Our, 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 we have right-wing cultists in the Vatican that want to revert back to the um, original evil, wicked Catholic Catholic Church," said Francesca. Chocwa. Maybe Francesca is, is a is one of those right wing witches. The woman, at the heart of a leaks scandal, currently convulsing Francis's Vatican. In an interview with Italy's La Stampa newspaper. La Stampa. Chacuai said Francis's in-house reforms and nominations have emboldened his enemies, many of whom were in the Vatican when Francis was Archbishop of Buenos Aires and had a less than pleasant relationship with Rome. How come nobody, even in international uh, journalism like like nobody calls out any of these people and tells them off you know what I mean yes because they believe as Newt Gingrich has ta tried to teach people it's only one idea against another that's all politics is on in other words, one idea and against another in other words all. nobody's hurting anybody regardless how how factless or or preposterous a person's um, interview or, or comments are news is news to these people in other words they take it they post it and if Snopes ain't around or a uh, fact check or something how do you know when the goddamn person is lying well uh, Snopes rub Snopes rub me the wrong way when I noticed they were very anti-nutritional supplement uh -huh. and a kind of pro big pharma so is consumer report very um, anti-supplementation. Yeah. yeah. So I suspected they might be corporate whores. I mean, also. for years, uh, what's the name of that group? Uh, what you call this group? The Physicians for a. Uh, I know which one you mean. Yeah, and the nutrition group. Every time they brought something out that this was bad, this was bad. Everybody else made fun of them. All the traditional stuff. The either. Uh, the the the, the uh, 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 official crapola. Well, you know. because uh, drugs uh, are toxic and they have many negative side effects, and 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 a living creature was not meant to take drugs, especially for well, the rest of their in, life. Even involving uh, nutrition and and yeah and uh, vitamins and stuff. They're nutrition, nutrition was here for hundreds of millions of years before uh, any pharmaceutical company, you know, so. And actually homeopathic medicine was was the, um, probably uh, the first f pharmaceutical, right? Uh, her herbal medicine, herbalism, uh, yeah, herbal uh, medicine and, and homeopathics. You know, way back. Yeah, I, yeah. My, okay. actually, actually, the old time doctors learn homeopathy. They learn some homeopathy in medical school, which they wouldn't dare teach now. 
Well, the homeopathic thing only came about in the 1800s, 18, with Hahnemann. Yeah. Hahnemann. You know? Yeah. Well, I told you that, um, that, um, um, Esmeralda's, uh, father, uh, who's a, uh, uh, very popular pediatrician in his city, uh, Cartagena, Colombia, uh, knew a lot about homeopathy uh, because uh, when he went to medical school in, I think he went to medical school in Mexico, he learned about homeopathy in medical school. Well, we had like a hundred medical schools here in, in uh, America uh, way back and uh, allopathic medicine got rid of them. Yeah. You know, that's that's what happened. Because they became uh, glorified uh, drug pushers. Mm -hmm. Well, they killed uh, Washington, uh, George Washington with mercury, you know, with, the, with bleeding them to death. I mean, mercury, bleeding, these were the, these were the top uh, 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 medicines at one time. Bloodletting? Yeah. But mercury? And mercury, yeah. He poisoned the poor guy. He would have been better off with with the uh, old-fashioned herbs. Yeah, whatever. What did he have? An infection? Who the hell knows what he had? Maybe he needed new uh, wooden dentures. Maybe uh, they they got had termites in him or something. I, I think that, that 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 little levity, little. I think I read somewhere that that the dentures were not wooden. <laughs> That's well, another one of those. Were they? I shall never tell a lie. Porcelain. They were, I, I don't know what they were. I thought they were made from the cherry tree chopped down. More levity. Some of these cardinals and bishops are openly resisting his reforms. Yeah, especially the ones in St. Louis. While others inside and out of the Vatican are simply waiting out his pontificate under the argument that popes come and go, but the curia remains. Pope Francis is no longer trusted by many conservative Catholics and the number who don't trust him has grown enormously since the Synod. Oh. Conservative columnist Damien Thompson wrote in Britain's Spectator. So that means that amongst Catholics there are many Catholic counterparts to those evangelical uh, uh, lunatics in the, on the Protestant side of the fence. There are, there are Catholic counterparts that are also right-wing well, uh, zealot nuts. All traditionalists are usually right-wing. And this, uh, what they're, what they're uh, professing, what they're promoting is cultism because it, it, it it's not part of the Bible, the original Bible. It's not part of the Bible. He said he doesn't see the dust settling until the next conclave, which lots of conservative Catholics want to happen as soon as possible. The Argentine Jesuit, who has rarely backed down from a fight, seems unfazed and possibly emboldened by the criticism, and there is no indication that it poses any real threat to his broad uh, popularity, since the public concern has been confined to mostly Anglo-Saxon and Italian pundits in predictably conservative publications. Well, Antonin Scalia and Rick Santorum are examples of uh, conservative right-wing cultist Catholics. Is a, would that be accurate? Certainly. Claiming to speak for a growing number of otherwise anonymous Catholic and laity and clergy. Monday will be a good litmus test to show just how far Francis is willing to push the envelope when he gathers the curia for his traditional Christmas greetings. Yeah, he's a, he, Francis is a independent free thinker and he's, he's gonna say what he wants to say, I predict. 
I predict, you know. Um, you got to look at percentages now. How many of those uh, uh, right-wing zealot Catholics are there in comparison to the people that love Francis? Uh, yeah, but the people who love Francis are not in control. Are you talking about in the, the Vatican, the cardinals? Yeah. yeah, the the which is like a senate or parliament. That's right. Okay. He, uh, it was at that usually jovial affair last year that Francis issued a blistering public dressing down of his closest collaborators by diagnosing the fifth ailments of the Curia. He accused the cardinals and the bishops of the Vatican bureaucracy of using their careers to grab power and wealth. Sounds like he was exposing the wickedness of the, the Catholic Church of old. And he was, he was, he was, um, Old. That was he was criticizing the ones that are in power now. Well, I mean, I mean, Jeez. I mean, all the negativities attached to the Catholic Church for hundreds of years. Francis was pretty much just you know exposing all of them. Calling them out. Calling them out, man. Calling them out. A lock, stock, and barrel. Calling them out. Right. Of living hypocritical double lives and forgetting due to spiritual Alzheimer's that they're supposed to be joyful men of God. See, and, 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 and what he's saying also applies to all Christian pastors, even on the Protestant side in America, the evangelicals and all that. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's hitting hard below the belt. They don't like it. Below the belt, and they don't like getting hit in the balls. It didn't go down well. Since then, the murmuring of criticism of Torre, Mario, Bergoglio has grown. Italy's veteran Vatican analyst and frequent Francis critic Sandro Magister said, Many are wondering what he'll say. Many are wondering what he'll say this time. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, it's like. Um, the people that have power and uh, money uh, in a dishonest way, they, they it sounds like they don't want to give up their gravy train. They don't want to be exposed. The goose that laid the golden egg, they want they want that goose to keep on laying golden eggs for them. You know, the same thing with the Republican Party in the United States and the corporatist Democrats in the United States, like the... Oh, the wicked uh, Wasserman Schitz. It's actually Schultz, but I, I, I say Schitz. I see nothing. The wicked Wasserman Schitz. Actually, that's pretty. That's pretty clever of me. Yeah. With billionaire investor Warren Buffett nearby. I wonder if Warren Buffett ever goes to a buffet. Get it? Buffett buffet. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton said on Wednesday. The Medusa. That she wants to raise taxes on the wealthy. Yeah, sure. And expand the Buffett rule. Come on, guys, cut it out. Pushed by the Obama administration to raise tax rates on the richest Americans. Wait a minute. Obama's has been in for almost two terms. That's right. And I never heard him mention raising taxes on the rich. No, not in that sense. No. He did say something to the effect that, uh, uh, you know, uh, why is Warren Buffett's secretary paying a higher rate than he is? That we've uh, heard before. But he didn't push the issue. He can't. Who makes the laws? Yeah, but he can go public and tell the American That's people right. that your elected Republican Congress is screwing up this country and, they, se and selling you out, brother. They would rather vote 47 times 
to repeal Obamacare than to do the real work of Congress. Yeah, they have an obsession with with the little people, the poor, having an existence or being happy, or they 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 they. they it's, it's almost like they want you to be either a an actual slave to the rich or die. It seems like they want one of those two things for the poor. Punishment. They the have, lazy poor. They have an obsession with the poor. They 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 just can't let it go. And and these are are multi-billionaires some of them, right? The Bible says they have disdain for the poor. How much fucking They have the poor in their sights. How much fucking money does one need? That, that Oh gosh. Oh, if they're if, if they're the Walmart people, they need more. They need more. It's like a hoarder when you think about it. It's like a like an obsession, like a hoarder. It's a disease. It, it, it's a not a disease. It's I want to go even further. Because Warren is one hundred percent right. Clinton said at a rally in this city that featured a public endorsement from Buffett, the famed investor and one of the wealthiest people in America. I want to be the president for the struggling, the striving, and the successful. Oh, she has to be the president for the successful too? They're successful. I've been getting away with a lot. With robbing from us. Come on, say it. They, the, the Reagan era has not ended, my friend. The taxification, with the taxification uh, for the rich, they don't need a president to be behind them. They need the president to tax the hell out of them. Introducing Clinton Buffett's offered a litany of statistics describing a growing chasm between the nation's rich and the poor. Lamenting millions and millions and millions of Americans have been left behind. Oh yeah, without a doubt. And the veterans, which is very despicable. Buffett was the namesake for the push by the Obama administration to seek a tax rate of thirty percent on those earning one million dollars or more. That's a drop in the bucket. That's a drop in the bucket. That's not enough. That is correct. The Oracle of Omaha said he would be delighted if Clinton takes the oath of office, asserting that she will not forget about the middle class America. Oh she yeah. Yeah, Hillary Clinton that wants uh, students that can't find a decent, permanent, full-time job, college students, she wants them to pay off their student loans. No no free education or, or free health care uh, uh, for, for Amer all Americans. No, 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 Clinton wants, she wants to keep the, the privatization in America. Make those banks richer, mate. Make yeah. those banks yeah. richer. Yeah. Yeah. Buffett said he had watched all of the Republican presidential debates.